work with Edge this morning? Yeah, yeah, Edge. You're right. up and you're not gonna be here or I'm gonna come home no, sometime no. and you're gonna be disappear. No, it's never gonna happen. I'll always be here waiting for you. Promise. I promise. Now go get dressed. You don't want to be late. Come on. Sorry about that morning breath thing. <laughs> <sighs> Here's the equipment I was telling you about. It's all state of the art. Are you sure? You're looking a bit groggy to me. Yeah, well, I have felt better now that you I am not you guys... interested in your health, Edge. All right, stop kidding around, all right? I meant, do you remember what I told you last night? Yeah. You and your comrades here pounded it into me pretty well. The beating was merely a warning, a, a small demonstration of what you can expect if we don't get our money. We are very good at that. Yeah, I got the meaning. Then repeat it to me, please. We're partners, it's as simple as that. Nein, you have got it wrong. You work for us. You're an employee with a paycheck, nothing more. If you're a good little worker, who knows? Maybe we'll give you a raise. Now, show us what we own here. have any access from the gym to the deck. Edge, where the hell were hey. you? Kelly's, huh? It's good to see you, man. It's good to see you, Look, too. They're changing plans. What are you... Yeah, like I said, it's changing plans. 
I think these guys left town. Left town? No. What did, what did I say that? I didn't say that. No. Helmet, this is my associate, Decker Moss. Decker, of course, you already know Carl and Klaus. Look, I'm excited. These, these guys happen to be some of the best in the world at foreign distribution. I, I thought you were Mr. Expert on that. Appreciate the compliment and all, but no, that's... I'm more domestic, you know. Uh, but say we take one of these tapes to France. These guys are telling me we can make 30 bucks a pop more if we do it over there. Did they tell you I was expanding? Yeah, and, and these are our new partners here. What? No, you do... What? That, no, look, it's going to be great, really. These guys are some of the best in the world. They're going to help us out. I mean, we're going worldwide here. Isn't that right, uh, Hellman, old boy? We handle production, marketing, distribution. Relax. We handle everything. What are you doing to me here? I had no choice. Is that you, Bill? Angel. Anna? Yes. Hello. Hi. What Hi. a lovely surprise. Hi. Hi. So, uh... Oh, I came to see Robert. At this hour? Yes. I wanted to make sure that he was... free. Well, you know he likes to get to the office early. I thought you knew that. I, I do I, know that, yes. I, I, I just yes. came by on the chance that maybe he hadn't gone to the office yet, in which case, if he hasn't gone to the office, then I have to make sure, sure that he can go. Yes. Everything all right? Yeah. Oh, good. Hmm. So he's gone, then? Yeah, I'm sorry. No. No. It's great. Yeah. Bye. Oh, uh, bye. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I see him this morning or not? You know, I get so bogged down around here, I can't tell one day from the next. You know how that is. Did you see him leave, or, or didn't you see him leave? I, I don't know if I did. I, I can tell you one thing, though. He was wearing a blue suit. The only thing is, I don't know if it, uh, if it was this morning or yesterday. Blue suit. Uh-huh. I guess I better check. Well, I think you're wasting your time, and I don't think you're going to find him up there. Oh, I know. He was tied up, though. Huh? He had a lot of business to take care of, and I just wanted to make sure that he could take care of the business, you know, in case he, he couldn't get out, and... Uh -huh. Bye, Angel. Bye, Anna. to get out of that. I didn't tie anything very tightly. I didn't sleep last night at all. I kept thinking about us. This whole thing. Robert, do you have any idea what you have put me through these years? I don't think you do. You see, you're a very unforgiving person, and I understand that about you. But I think that it would have been very easy for you just to say it's all right. And I forgive you. It's in the past. But you couldn't do that, could you? So I had to live with it all these years. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you? And I think... That what we did was we messed up. I think we really blew it. I think we could have... Well, who knows what we could have done. Doesn't matter, you can't think about that, but... I just am very sorry. I'm very sorry. Do you? Oh, come on. Heartless, a 
and mean. You are mean. Oh, God, here I am standing here pouring out my heart. And all you do is, is stand there looking ridiculous. What are you gonna do, Robert? If I let you go, you're gonna kill me, aren't you? The version is completely ridiculous. Mm. It is. I mean, Robert, if I untie you, are you gonna let me get out of here peacefully? <laughs> okay, I knew it. No, I, I, I mean, you, you're your own worst enemy. That's all I can say because I'm quite willing to untie you. But I just want to live long enough. Oh, you do look so uncomfortable. Mm. I know. Stay right there. That's not a joke. Sit down, you can um, sit down now. Does that feel better? I'm so sorry about your legs. Maybe the circulation will come back in, the, in an hour or so. Right then, I'm going to leave you, okay? And uh, I'm going to try and sort out something. Something. Do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> Decker, what are you doing here? I, I thought you were going to New York with Edge on business. No, we um, we had a slight change of plans on that one. I just saw him leaving with those two creeps that came by the condo. They were with an even creepier looking guy. What? I'm sorry. Three men, Edge. Yeah, I yeah. I saw them leaving. Who are these guys? Uh, they are our new business partners that we're going to be working with. Decker, how can they be business partners when you don't even know them? Uh, listen, I don't... Don't call them them, all right? Don't act like that. They're, they're nice guys. They're great guys. You're just going to have to trust me once again. I do trust you, but I don't trust okay, them. Okay, then let me handle all the business. And you can't judge people all the time by the way they look. That's not what I mean. Well, you're worrying too much. Maybe I do. Maybe? Yes, you do. You, you, it's <sighs> awful. It really is. And have some have to have more faith in me. I have all the faith in the world in you. Great. Great. I need that. <laughs> okay. I need that right now more than anything. And um, we'll talk about this some other day when um, you're rested. Okay. All right. Mom, I'm home. Mom? Anybody here? Mom? Mom? Hmm. Well, well, well. Hmm, look what we have here. All right, Mom. Mom? Is that you? Hey, you kiddo, how goes it? Oh, hi, Owen. Hey, what's happening? Nothing, I just thought you were Mom. Hey, what's that? Well, I found this when I was tidying up Mom's room. Oh. Are you sick or something? No. You cleaning up? Oh, boy. Something seriously going down. Well, I was just kind of like going through her room. Oh. Come here for a second. I found this man shirt. Olin? Did somebody spend the night last night? Wow, man. Radical. Hey, can I see this? <whistles> Somebody in a major way. Oh, come on, Olin. I mean, didn't someone spend the night? Could be. Someone that we all know and love? Well, that's <laughs> most of the time. Maybe. Come on, Olin, out with it. I mean, did somebody spend the night last night meeting Dad? 
Hey, you got me. Hey, maybe you better check with the big A. Well, she's not here right now, is she? Come on, Owen, I've got a right to know. He's my father. Hey, I know, Zip. I split when you did. Spent the night with my family. Only she could know. Kiddo, I'm out of this. Well, wait a minute. What about this morning when you came here? Was there anybody here? Honey, I just got here. So you didn't see anybody? Nobody. Only your face. Right now, in my face. Cute. Well, I'm going to find out what went on last night. Okay, you think. Think hard while we get the groceries out of the car. Nope. I think I'll stay here and look for clues. See, Daddy wouldn't leave his shirt here by mistake. Hey, you know Charlie Chan. Now give it up. You know something I don't, don't you? Honey, <laughs> all I know is I scream, get soft in the car. Hey, come on. Come on. Tell me all about that big show. Come on. Good morning, Anna. Listen, you seen this mess? Who booked this guy? I have no idea. Good morning, Anna. Good morning, Louis. You seen Robert? No, no, he hasn't showed up yet. Oh, is he in the office? No, I'm positive he isn't. Please, let me see the dude. Well, that's really weird because you know I have an appointment with him this morning. Yeah, well, you know, Robert. He's probably tied up or something. Yeah. Why is that? I think that, uh, maybe he's sick. No, Rob, no, no, he's not sick. No, no, I saw him yesterday, he was fine. No, he probably just forgot your appointment, that's one. Oh, I don't think he'd do that. This is very important business. Did you call him yet today? No, no, and I don't intend to. Listen. Well, I wish you would just... Um... I have to plan my day. I have lots of things to do, and I just can't wait around here for Robert. <laughs> Be my guest. No, no, no. It's your job to keep tabs on him. No, uh, it's not my job to keep tabs on him. My job is to stay out of his way. We get more done that way, see? <laughs> yes, really. I just think that you should call him, and then if he's Wait, not there, there is... when you call him, then you must go over there and check on him. You want me to phone him, and if he doesn't answer, I should go over there? Yes. <laughs> no, no, Anna. No, we don't do things like that. I can't do that. Uh. Why not? Uh, several reasons. My job, my health. Hey, hey, come Please, Lewis, I... just call him on the phone. Well, then I, I won't worry. I'll tell you what, Anna. If he doesn't show up by tomorrow, then tomorrow I'll phone him. And if he doesn't answer, then I'll go over there tomorrow. In the meantime, like I say, be my guest. It's on the house. Fine, fine. What? What? Okay. okay, look. Take care of that, all right? Hey, Chief. Oh, yeah. They're all waiting in room five. I know. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Tell them I'm being... Look, uh, like I say, use the phone. Have a good day. I gotta go. See you later. said Sean's involved in this personal injury case, and I wondered if he was here. Is he here? No, he isn't. And you look like you're in a rush. Yes, I am. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before you go, did you find out any more about Body Heath? Oh. Yeah, I did. You did? Yeah. Look, I won't keep you. What? Well, um, Edge did pull up the money to buy that place. What? Yeah. Edge? <laughs> yeah, I, I know. You see, he is, uh... Decker's partner, and I don't think Decker knows where the money comes from at all. Well, I can't believe that. I thought he was involved in this video thing. Where does he get all this money? I don't know. I'm going to try and find that out. It's going to take me a little while, but um, I'll get back to you on it, okay? How did you find this out? 
friend of mine works in the escrow company, and uh, she let me go through some papers. Well, you are a wonder. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes. Um, <laughs> so what I'll do is, is I'll get back to you, and don't worry about anything. You know? Look, no, the only person I worry about is Dawn, Anna. Oh, we won't let anything happen to her. I, I, I think the deck is all right, you know. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I can go now? Yes. Oh, oh yes. Hi. Thanks. <laughs> Nice doggy, nice doggy, don't bite. Nice doggy. Good morning, Commissioner. Imagine running into you like this. So they finally got to you, didn't they? Just like I told you. They're very dangerous, these men. We're in more trouble than I thought, walking into the commissioners in broad daylight. Ah, oh, I better warn the others. I told you that they were bad, but you wouldn't listen to me. Maybe now you'll listen to what I'm saying. Adam, I've never been so happy to see you in all my life. I want to tell you what they're up to. I, I'm they're taking care of the conspiracy. Listen, Sadie, no, untie me and get Lewis over here right away, will you? Lewis? Yeah, Lewis. Oh, no, yeah. no, no, not Lewis. Oh, no, not uh, Lewis. Sadie. No, oh. no, oh. no. Pardon. No. I try to warn you. Don't say I what? didn't try. Oh, you I tried right? my best. You oh, no. Hey, oh. are you forgetting? Oh, God. I better what? warn the others, too. Oh, yeah. Those men are bad. They're, they're building swimming pools in the catacombs. Hey, uh, what next? Condos. You'll see. Oh, hey. I'm sorry you wouldn't listen to me. I'm very sorry. Hey, but I'll listen. I better lock the door so that they can't. Don't lock the door. Sorry. Sorry. Wonderful dancer. <laughs> yes. So where were you when I got back? Oh, I just have some things to do. Have anything to do with this? What is it? You tell me. It was in your bedroom. And why were you? Where'd it come from, Mom? Paris. You know, you were wonderful in your recital last oh, night. Thanks, I was Mom, very but... proud of you. Everybody was talking about you. Do you know that? Did you have a good time? I had a blast, Mom, but... See, really, are you looking forward to going to college? I'm going to love am. college. Stop trying to change the subject. I'm not trying. I am succeeding in changing the subject, okay? What went on between you and Dad last night? It was a... It was a nice evening. Come on, Mom. Details, details. Mom, did you like your dress? Yes. What about your hair? Oh, he loved it. He loved it? That's good. Mom, you have to tell me everything. I mean, everything. Oh, uh, what? No, nothing. I mean, there's nothing to tell, really. We went to see our wonderful daughter. Yes, I know. What happened next? And then we went out to dinner, and um, it was really nice, and, and that was that, really. And then what'd you do? And then, um, uh, he went back to his apartment and I went back to mine. Here. Oh, did you notice how great the bed smelled last night? Oh. Well, I sprayed it with your best perfume. Oh, that. No, I, I didn't notice. It's a great shame that you bothered to do that because I was here on my own. Do you want to know something? What? I don't believe you. I don't care whether you believe me or not. That's the truth. So how do you explain this? I don't have to explain it. Leave me alone. Go to college. Mom, I'm not a kid anymore. So did you make a pass at him? No. Did he make a pass at you? <laughs> no. Did anybody make a pass at anybody? Go away! Hey, Robin. Robin, I made you a great treat. Now, come along and get it while it's hot. Mom? Okay, fine. So don't tell me. But I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out because I'm going to go see Dad and he's going to tell me because he doesn't treat me like a little baby like you. You'll like it.
Robin? Maybe they took her away. How did that happen? I was such a good mother. you in a late breakfast or an early lunch? Oh, thank you, but I am swamped. Oh. But I'm glad you're here, because I'm going to talk to you for a second. Sure, what's up? Well, um, I learned, I learned that, uh, that Edge is a silent partner in Body Heat with Decker. Did you know that? Sure, I mean, they're partners. It's silent. Edge is anything but silent. What's that supposed to mean? Well, it means that he's kept his name off the sales records. He doesn't want his source of finances to be known. I mean, where does he get his money? Mom, would you stop? If it would make you feel better, I'll ask about it. That's, that's no, the problem. No, no, it would make me feel better if uh, you just stayed out of that end of the business. Look, there's nothing devious going on. Decker's completely honest with me. He loves me, okay? He really loves me. I, I know that. <laughs> Guess I'm... Well, I'm just trying to protect you, that's all. I'm happy. I, I'm very, very much in love. That should be enough, okay? And it is. Right. Anyway, kid, I gotta get back, uh, back to work. Okay, all right. Okay. Listen, we'll have dinner one night, okay? Please, okay. I'll all see right, you, later. you take care. Volunteer Jan Lowry, please contact Volunteer Services. Excuse me. Uh, yes, uh, can I speak to uh, Decker Moss, please? Yeah. Uh, Decker, hi. Uh, this is Monica Quarterman. Monica, hi. I was wondering, uh, could you come by the hospital? I'd really like to talk to you. Mm, what, is Donna right? She's fine. I just need to talk to you. Okay, okay. That's it, right? Just yeah, that, that's it. I'll see you later. All right. All right, yeah. Thanks. to put up the money, you know, for body heat. He, he's Decker's partner. Huh. Where the hell did they get that kind of money? Oh, I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Think that money's dirty? Yes, of course it is, if Edge is involved. You know, I've checked all his finances, and I know he's as poor as I am. Yeah. You know, we thought that he was involved with the Jerome's, but he's not. Well, I mean, everyone assumed he was Evan Jerome. He never went on record by saying that himself. No. So, uh... Edge. Well, Edge is a very slippery character. Mm -hmm. The only problem is, is that they've got Decker involved with him. So. Yeah, by association, Don, too. Yes, Don. See, uh, well, I guess what we have to do is find out where Edge got the money from. Mm-hmm. You know, it's always better to get all the truth up front, don't you think? Yes. Yes. Especially, you know, where the Dawn's involved with all of this. I wasn't thinking of Dawn. I was referring to, uh... Cheryl. Cheryl? Yeah, she left town yesterday, took Lucas with her. For good? Looks that way. What happened? Bottom line is, Robert said he didn't love her and never would. Yes, 
such reason for leaving town, is it? That's as good as any, don't you think? She has an offer of a new job, a new life. Why not? I give her credit. I suppose it would be rather difficult living in Port Charles, not speaking to Robert. Speaking of Robert... I would rather not speak of Robert. Huh? He's not one of my favorite people at the moment. Well, anyway... There's no any way about it. He was completely cruel to Cheryl, and she's always been rather fragile. He should never have come down on her that hard. Yeah. I think that some people really don't know how to handle Robert. And, uh... I mean, he can be very tough sometimes. What do you mean, tough? He's brutal. You're not defending him, are you? Me? Yeah. Defend Robert? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just concerned. About Robert or about Cheryl? No, I I'm not talking about this situation. It's something else. You see, uh... Well, I had an appointment with Robert today. Uh-huh. And he didn't turn up and... Well, that's not like him. That's exactly like him. Yes, yes, I know. It's exactly like him. But I thought maybe you should go and check on him. I'm a little busy today. Oh. Yes, but you really should check on him. See how he is. Anna, I would do just about anything for you, and you know that. Yeah. Except this. Oh, uh, I'm busy today. Ask me tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be too late. What do you mean, too late? I didn't mean too late. I meant, mm, if you're his mate, you should check up on him. Ask me later. Right. Okay. I don't have much time. I've got a patient waiting for me in my office, so I'll make this brief. Uh, I'm concerned about Dawn. Wait, you, you said over the phone she was fine. Oh, no, uh, let me rephrase it then. I'm concerned about Dawn and you, as a couple. Why? I love her. I'm going to try to do the best I can for her. Decker, how many times have I heard that before? Oh, so you call me over here. To, to just yell at me about my past, no, to dredge I, up my... No. Well, thank you. No, I have thank not. Thank you. I, I'm glad I made the trip. I really am. Look, I got Look. something going for me now. Yes, it's, I know. Yes, body heat. Right, body heat. And it's great. The business is going fine. Mm -hmm. It's going to make a lot of money. How did you get the money for body heat? Creative investments, partners, things like that. Edge? Yes, Edge. Dr. Can you really trust Edge? Yes, I can Dr. really Dr. trust Edge. The whole business. He's straight. The business is straight. Everything is fine. Well, good. Because I don't want to see Dawn involved with you or anything that's the least bit shady. 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 Okay. Okay, fine. You think I'm going to drag your daughter into something that's shady like it? I'm not. Good. Great. Great. And that's why I'm doing this business, to make some money to support mm -hmm. a wife. All right. Fine. Let me put it this way, Decker. You have two strikes against you. One more and you're out. What, what does that mean? It means I'm not going to stand back passively and watch what happens. I will fight tooth and nail to protect my daughter. I guarantee it. Oh, that's okay, guys. I got it. Don't worry about it. The donkey buck is yours, Edge. <laughs> the donkey work. Hey, that's, that's great. I was kind of getting used to swine. Isn't that what it was? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you Too bad you are not as honest as you are amusing. Uh, you yeah. could be a rich man by now. Yeah, I thought about that. Next life. Well, looks like we got another shipment almost ready to go. There are some machines that need to be reloaded. You're falling behind. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, Helen, there's something we really need to talk about. You weren't really serious about the, uh, cutting me out completely and all that and not leaving me without a dime. I mean, after all, look, I mean, this is my setup. I, I'm the one who started all this. The negotiations are ended. The deal is set. Nothing to discuss. Yeah. Yeah, but that, that's, that's for me. But what about my, uh, my, my partner there, Decker? He's going to be wanting to get involved. He's going to He is not going to be involved. 
Okay, he's gonna be looking for money. He can look elsewhere. Now, wait, you don't understand. This is his baby. He's got a vested interest in this business. Now, what am I gonna say to him? You'll think of something. What about the shipment? It's almost ready, but that's not Good. the point. Helmet! What am I gonna say to Decker? You have a vivid imagination, Edge. You'll think of something. Friday. This is a totally ridiculous situation, and we have to resolve it right now, all right? I'm serious. Now, look me in the eye. I am, oh, I am abjectly, profoundly sorry for this. I am desperately sorry. I had no idea that this joke would get so carried away. So what I'm saying is that if, if you will just let me untie you myself, then let me get the hell out of here, and then we can get on with the rest of our lives and pretend none of this ever happened. Oh, please, Robert, look. I'm down on my knees, and I am just begging you to let me do this. Just let me untie you. Will you? Dismember, Anna! Okay. You're impossible, you know that? You're impossible and you're not very smart because you are cutting off your nose, not to mention your circulation, to spite me. Now, you live by the sword, Robert, and you die by it. And that's what's going to happen if you don't know how to control that temper of yours. Do you know something? I have spent this entire morning running around this city trying to find somebody to come up here and check on you. I have been lying, I have been cajoling, manipulating, pleading, trying to get someone up here. I couldn't find a single person to do it. So where does that leave us? That leaves us in exactly the same situation. Which is that you have to let me untie you and then let me get out of here without breaking any of my major bones. You've got a terrible temper, you know that? I don't get a terrible temper! Please. Well, I tried. What? Robert. What? 